What's up guys? Uh, what you're about to watch is my first ever Thanos gameplay here in Fortnite Battle Royale and uh, I'm so excited about this man. I honestly I had a ton of fun with this and uh, we actually ended up doing pretty well. So uh, if you guys don't know there's a brand new limited time mashup or limited time mode that was added in and uh, basically early on in the game there's a giant infinity gauntlet that's going to come raining down from the sky. Whoever picks it up and interacts with it first becomes Thanos. Thanos cannot use weapons, cannot build, cannot do most of the normal stuff. However, he does have four attacks that he can use to take down enemies. He's got uh, 700 health and 300 shield. The health cannot regen and he can't take any consumables like med kits or anything like that. But the shield does regen every single time he gets a kill. So he's uh, he's definitely powerful. I don't know if I'd call him overpowered though. Watch the gameplay. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, hopefully you enjoy. If you don't mind, and I truly don't ask for this type of thing often, drop a like on the video. I woke up at 5 o'clock this morning. I am so tired. But uh, I got some pretty good gameplay for you guys very, very early. So hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. We're going to start going for it. We're going to start going for it. Dude, we might be able to get this one, boys. Woo! Infinity Gauntlet is ours. The end is near. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> this is actually my first time getting this. Do we have anybody else laying it tilted? Oh my god. So R2 is a punch. L2 is a laser beam. And X is a jump. Okay, this is insane. How high do you jump? Wow! Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna lie, he's a little bit slow. Can he open doors? He can't open doors either. But he can bust right through them. Dude, no lie, this is kind of hard to control. Like the, the jumps and stuff. Woo, give me my shields back, baby. I'm coming after this dude. The jumps and stuff make it easy for people to get you. Get me out of here. Beat me up, cuz! Beat me up! This is so hard to play as, dude. Beat me up, cuz! Get me out of here! That's the problem, dude. You get in trouble. You get in trouble when you're trying to jump out of here. That's gonna be an issue. We're gonna be okay though. And you can't open doors. We just got two more kills. Maybe one. He's down, let's go baby. We got five kills already. I'm starting to get the hang of this. This is uh, this is honestly not the easiest thing I've ever done. I can't turn. Beat me up. Beat me up. Hurry. Get me out of here. He's down. Me out of here. Holy cow. We've got eight kills already, dude. I cannot believe this is my first time using this and we're doing this well. So you have one ranged attack. One jump. One ranged attack, one jump. You can't regen your health. You do regen your shields. You do regen your shields every time that you get a kill. Whoo! I 
I like this ray thing, dude. It's actually a lot better than I thought. <laughs> we up to date got 11 kills. Beat me up, bro. Beat me at him. Beat me at him. Oh, that's next level. We're going to die here. Got him. Where's this other dude? We're gonna die! Go! I hate not being able to build or anything, dude. No! He finally got us! Oh my gosh, dude. That was absolutely insane. My first ever Thanos gameplay right there. So everybody who picks up the gauntlet gets to... Ooh, that's kind of sexy. I didn't even think about doing that. So you can jump around and then immediately come down. Okay. That's actually not a bad play either. I'm not going to lie. So you got to use that to your advantage. I was just using the jump basically as an escape mechanism, but the jump should honestly be your kind of like, that should be your targeting thing. You can fly down at people and get in their face and stuff as well. I was using the beam ray a little bit with the jump. Dude, that's pretty smart. All right, let's, I say we watch the rest of this and see what this guy gets done. I can't believe I didn't think of using the, the charge punch. I think he has a fourth attack too, hold on. I'm going to pull this up. Ability 1 is a mighty punch that knocks enemies back and destroys structures. Ability 2, Thanos flies towards the ground, hitting an area for knockback and damage. Ability 3, harness the energy of the power zone, fire blast that deals damage over time. Ability 4 is a super jump that can vault Thanos over the largest obstructions. I guess the flying towards the ground thing is... Okay, I get you. That's what we missed. That's what we weren't using. The only ability we weren't using is, is what he's doing here. He's gonna take down this dude's base. This guy already kind of knows what he's doing, man. Oh, got him down. <laughs> that was amazing. So it's, um, I don't know. It, it's, I feel like it, it can be really good if it's used correctly. Like this guy's using it really well, better than we did our first time. I mean, we got 12 kills, so I'm not upset with how we perform with it. But, uh, I also feel like it is a little bit slow. Like, if you get stuck up here, you can't, like, do a little jump to get over little barriers and stuff. I don't know. It definitely limits your, your gameplay because you can't jump normally. You can't build. You kind of move pretty slowly and clunkily. So you got to be really smart. I could see if you're in a, a big group of people you're getting teamed up on. You could, uh, you could really get yourself into some trouble. If I lost, I would have lose to the best. You better be number one. Oh my god, he just went through his entire base into the storm, though. That was not smart. <laughs> yeah, this is the way you gotta use it, dude. You've got to just constantly be jumping. See, we were running around on the ground a little bit and stuff. You just want to constantly be jumping and make sure that nobody... Make sure that nobody can really hit you. Look at how far he's traveling, too. This is like, not even just for taking out people, but for traveling. This is really useful. Is that guy in the bush? Dude, this might be the end of Zagreski here. Oh, he's done. He's done. Yeah, it was the bush. Maybe not. Oh, no. 183. <gasps> the rockets. Oh, my gosh. He did it. Young DJ, 1439. It's Thanos in a bush, bro. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> that is the ugliest thing I think I've ever seen. By the way, I did see... Infinity War last night. I know a lot of you guys were making fun of me in the comments for not knowing what snap was It's insane, dude. Really really good. Really sad emotional movie 
but definitely sets up well for the future. If you guys haven't seen it, I'd definitely go check it out. All right, so we've got five guys left. Young DJ, 1439, is on the hunt. Also, Thanos does not take fall damage in this, which is good. So you gotta, gotta keep that in mind. You can jump off of mountains and do really whatever you wanna do and not have any worries. I can't believe he's in a bush right now, dude. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but I love it. I, and I also love that he can't open doors. That's so funny. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He's gonna be in trouble. Use your R2, bro. Killed himself. He's gonna be in the storm. Nope. Oh, that was close. <laughs> What's up, baby? I don't know how he didn't see that coming because you can literally see a giant Thanos on your uh, on your compass, like where it normally shows like north and 135 and stuff like that. There's a giant Thanos head or a giant gauntlet head whenever the gauntlet lands or like a gauntlet image. So, you should never be able to sneak up on people with Thanos. Oh, last guy's up here. Might be it. Jump up there and get him. Oh, he's so weak. Both of them are honestly kind of weak, dude. This is going to be close. Oh my gosh, dude. If this guy doesn't clutch this up, I'm going to lose my mind. Come on. Get some more height before you shoot. There you go. That's what you gotta do, young DJ. All right, so Thanos just won that time. Interesting. I like it, dude. This is honestly, this is a lot of fun. I feel like Thanos is pretty much always gonna win in this mode because somebody's always gonna pick him up after they kill the last one. And if you're in a 1v1 against Thanos, you have a pretty low chance of winning. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Peace out.